So Information Age tells the story of the last 200 years of information and communication technology and there are two key things we wanted to do with this gallery. The first is to explode the myth that we're living in this unprecedented time of change when we're bombarded by new devices and we feel like we're drowning in information because in fact the information age is much longer than we think. And Otley is an amazing example of someone who was thinking about the ways we share and sort information way back at the end of the 19th century. The other key thing we wanted to do was to reveal the people behind information and communication technology. So rather than just displaying a sequence of devices, we wanted to capture the characteristics and personalities of some of the key innovators. And Otley is an amazing example of someone who thought creatively and was a real uh, innovator in the truest sense. So we actually tell the story of Paul Otley in the context of Tim Berners-Lee, the inventor of the World Wide Web. What we were trying to do is show that Tim Berners-Lee's innovation wasn't just a spark of genius that came out of nowhere, but was part of a longer history of people thinking about information and how you could store and sort vast amounts of it. So we tell the story of Paul Otley alongside people like H.G. Wells, who was another British pioneer, but also Ted Nelson and Vannevar Bush, and show how he was one of a vast lineage of creative people thinking about how we could better use information. The story of Paul Otley and the Mundaneum is our key Belgian story in the gallery. 